It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And today I'm going to give you and I'm going to bring you one of the best, if not the best beer in the world, by the oldest brewery in the world. Longest running. They've been going since 1080. This is Weinstefana Vitas. It's 7.7% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle, dark brown bottle. It's a Weizenbock, which means it's a Weiss beer, but it's a Bock, it's strong. Bock meaning strong. There's the bottle cap. This is quite interesting because I'm looking at this label. Maybe they produce a beer for the UK market because if you pick a beer up from this brewery say from Sainsbury's it'll say the world's oldest brewer or brewery along the top but this doesn't say it it's because this is an authentic German beer that's been exported to Europe to the UK by beersofeurope.co.uk. We'll talk more about beersofeurope.co.uk in a moment. But I want to get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Now this is a super rare occasion because if you have a look through time, if you have a look at our channel from years and years ago, we actually reviewed this beer May have even been 10 years ago now. May have been 10 years ago. And it's one of those rare occasions where I think to myself, I want to review this beer again. Because it's that good. It's that good. If you're a fan of Vice beer, if you're a fan of these wonderful wheat beers, then please give this a go. Find a way of getting it. Order it from beersofeurope.co.uk if you need to. We'll put it down and talk about beers of Europe. Because the beer is dripping. Beers of Europe, the biggest beer shop in the UK, online and store. They have an amazing, amazing warehouse full of beer in the Norfolk area of the UK. If you've been on holiday, if you've been working away, and you found that very, very special beer that you want to find again and drink back in the UK. The best place to find it is beersofeurope.co.uk. It really is a fantastic, fantastic online source for great beer. This is one of the finest beers in the world. It really is one of the finest beers in the world. And you see that kind of yeast sediment, that last little bit of yeast sediment as I poured it in then, sliding down the glass. 7.7% ABV, quite light, quite straw coloured, two to three finger, fluffy white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass, look at that. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. And that is just a dream. That is just a dream of an aroma for me. That is just. Getting it on my nose, I'm that excited. That is the most. Cloviest, bananariest, spiciest, pepperiness. Lovely, lovely, lovely wheat aroma that a vice beer is ever going to offer you. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. There's a link to Beers of Europe, Europe's website in the link in the description box below. Here we go.
Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a terrific, terrific beer. The best. For me, just incredible. The Germans were producing hazy beer long before this whole hop haze craze that's been going on for the last 10 to 15 years around the world. The Germans have been doing it for hundreds of years. It's called Weiss beer. Oh. Where do I begin with this? Do I begin with its almost kind of like almost milky, creamy, rich flavour. The spicy pepperiness, the banana, the clove. The little bit of sweetness to begin with. The little, the little bit of bitterness from the hops on the back end. Oh, stone the crows again. What a beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Just tremendous, just tremendous, tremendous beer. If you've not, you need to trust me on this. Now, I know some people buy beer off the back of my reviews and they comment saying, off the strength of your review, I've bought beer. I bought this beer. If you were ever on the fence about buying Weinstefana's Vitas, please, can I swing you on the side of the fence of Right, I'm going to go and order a bottle. Because this is just the most incredible thing, I think, to ever happen in beer. It's super, super smooth and creamy and rich. We get a little bit of tickle of the carbonation. The carbonation pushes the beer round the inside of the mouth and releases more of that flavour. You can see I'm looking at little pieces of yeast, tiny little fragments of yeast that's floating round in the glass. I've had some of the best beer in the world. I've had Heady Topper. I've had... Russian River, Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger. I've had St. Bernardus. I've had that West Veteran 10, West, West, West Veteran 12, had that as well, that was lovely. But I think this tops it all off, you know. Tops it all off. They don't sing, they don't dance, they don't overly advertise it. It's just there, sitting on Beers of Europe's website. You don't really hear much about it. Why is the fan of Vitas? But you should. I'm telling you, you should know more about this beer. This beer is just, if you're a Vice Beer fan, incredible. I'm going to rate it. Just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful, the mouthfeel from start to finish, the, the carbonation, the mouthfeel, the aroma, the flavour, just, just absolutely mesmerising. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.